So I don't usually make videos, but uh, it's just easier to explain uh, what has just completely baffled me uh, in the past five minutes. I, I was actually on the, the Ron Paul 2012 Facebook page, uh, and they posted this picture. And I think it's absolutely right. I mean, the only way that we're going to get Ron Paul elected is with his support base, the people that really think that his message is legitimate and that he's a, a amazingly consistent candidate and the, the people that really think that he would be the best president of the United States, the only way we can get him elected is by actually going to the polls uh, and, you know, voting for Ron Paul. Now, this idea that he's not electable, therefore we shouldn't elect him, uh, it, it was kind of a uh, chicken and the egg scenario, and it doesn't really make sense. And people think that, you know, if they vote for Ron Paul, the idea that he's not going to get elected, uh, you know, that means their vote is wasted. And so uh, the reason I made this video is just simply because uh, I wanted to, to talk about uh, the two main uh, areas of voters that, uh, you know, think their vote would be wasted and why at least voting for Ron Paul in the uh, Republican primary election uh, is not a wasted vote. And the first group of voters that I wanted to talk about was uh, the the people that voted for Obama in 2008 and are just looking for somebody that, you know, is going to provide them with that change that they wanted. And, of course, Ron Paul is that candidate, but they don't think that he's going to win, so they don't go out to the polls. The idea here is is that even if you were an Obama supporter and now you're looking for some more change and you don't really plan on voting for a Republican, but you do plan... Uh, you know, you would like to see at least uh, Ron Paul in the in the White House. I, if you voted for Obama and Obama is your guy, but Ron Paul is a better guy, uh, and he's going to provide that greater change, and you would like to see him in the the White House, the first step you have to take is voting in the Republican primary. Now, I the, I, I saw a post by someone I can't remember who it was, uh, but they said that. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of ridiculous that there's a lot of Democrats that would vote for Ron Paul, but don't because they're Democrats. That is the worst excuse for not going out and voting uh, at the Republican primaries uh, in wherever your state is uh, for Ron Paul. If you are a Democrat, it literally takes probably 10 minutes to change your voter identification and switch from a Democrat to a Republican. And it doesn't matter because in the general election that your affiliation with parties doesn't matter anyway. So you should, I, if you really do support Ron Paul and you want to vote in the Republican primaries, check your state even because some of the primaries are open uh, and anybody can vote anyway. And so it, it, it's a cop-out argument for people to say that because they're Democrats, they are not going to vote in the Republican primary. If you support Ron Paul, support Ron Paul and go to the Republican primaries, vote for him in the polls, and that's how we get Ron Paul to win the Republican primary. And if he wins the Republican primary, the statistics are showing that he could very well easily beat Obama, and that's going to be a huge landslide victory for Ron Paul, but it starts now. It starts in the, the primaries uh, for the Republican Party. But secondly, this idea is the people that would vote for ideally a Romney or a Greenwich uh, and the the people say, well, I uh, you know I I want to I uh, you know support Ron Paul, but I you know he's not going to win, and it's just going to waste it, and so my candidate is not going to get elected. But the first thing that we have to remember is that if you support Ron Paul, Ron Paul is your candidate, and you might have a secondary, you might have a backup, but here's the deal: is that if you vote for Ron Paul and you get out and you go to the polls for uh, for Dr. Paul. Uh, you know, if you were going to vote for a Romney or for a Santorum, uh, and instead you voted for Ron Paul because he was the better candidate, that is what the primaries are there to judge. Is number one, who does the conservative base, or not even necessarily the conservative base, the the people uh, that are relating themselves to the Republican Party? Maybe you were a Democrat last year or the last election, and now you're Republican this year because of Ron Paul. That's what the primaries are for, is that we want to bring people together, and that's what the, the primaries are designed to do. And so you get out and you vote for Ron Paul. Uh, and, you know, if, if Romney or Greenwich, uh, you know, do eventually, uh, you know, win over Ron Paul, uh, your vote wouldn't matter anyway. 
because your opinion was for Ron Paul, your vote actually went to, to Romney, and you voted for Ron Paul and Romney wins anyway. It doesn't matter. So the message I have for everybody is that, honestly, if you support Ron Paul, yeah, you need to get out and vote for him. The idea that he's not electable just because someone said that or there's this idea, this cloud hanging over our head saying that Ron Paul is not electable, that's ridiculous. And, uh, you know, that's that's almost buying into the, to the media arguments that, you know, if you don't win these first few states that uh, it's not going to happen. I just read an article that said that Ron Paul won the, the Tennessee straw poll uh, and the, the closest candidate – uh, to him was Santorum, and he actually had 62 votes, and Ron Paul had 200. That's a landslide victory in the Tennessee straw poll. And similar things uh, are happening. Uh, Idaho has actually 32 delegates to the Republican National Convention, and Ron Paul has consistently been performing. Number one has been winning uh, the polls in Idaho, and it shows that uh, you know in, in states that are, are not as tied to the media hype, uh, Ron Paul does very well because he has the, the troops on the ground, and that's what we need to support. So message today is if you support Ron Paul, support Ron Paul and go to the polls for him. If you're a Democrat, register to vote as a Republican or find out if your state is open or not. Uh, just everybody needs to get out and vote for Ron Paul, and that's how he's going to win. And that's what gives him his electability is when we, the support base, actually go out and support him. So thanks.